A push to change North Carolina law taking center stage in Raleigh all because of our defenders investigation. Today, Representative Chaz Beasley announced a new bill that would make it illegal to spike someone's drink regardless of whether they were sexually assaulted. Our team started investigating the issue after multiple reports of drinks being drugged at the epicenter. Defender Alex Shabbat has been following the story every step of the way. He's in Uptown now with the update. Well, it all started here at the epicenter after a woman said her drink was spiked and we were surprised to find there was no clear law against it. Today, our investigation leading us to Raleigh, where it sparked a second piece of legislation. I uh, started to black out and fell on the floor. A woman who once felt unheard now has a voice echoing across the state. I decided that I had to do something. It's a frightening story we've been hearing since last year. Leah McGurk describing how her drink was spiked at the epicenter. Knowing that you're at the mercy of anyone around you. But when McGurk, who was not sexually assaulted, went to file a police report, there was no clear category for the crime. That's when our defenders team found North Carolina law did not specifically address date rape. So law enforcement would refer to a statute designed to include crimes like altering a child's Halloween candy. A reporter, Alex Shabad, actually contacted Representative Beasley when he saw my story and he informed him about the laws and how they needed to be updated. Just last year, our investigation led to a new state law to clearly define the crime of date rape. And fast forward to today, it's sparking another major legislative push. And I am honored today to introduce uh, House Bill 393. At this news conference in Raleigh, State Representative Chaz Beasley announcing a new bill. It would make spiking someone's drink a felony, regardless of whether the victim is sexually assaulted. Right now we have a statute that makes drugging or adding some sort of foreign substance to someone's food illegal and this expands that to make sure that drinks are also included. It leaves you feeling like you're in no man's land as a victim and like the law isn't actually there to protect you. So this really modernizes our laws. Representative Beasley says the bill has already received bipartisan support and it's gaining momentum with help from this woman who brought the issue to light. I'm very glad that something good is coming from this. And we will follow this new bill as it works its way through the state legislature and bring you updates every step of the way. For now, I'm in Uptown, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.